magic and its history as the art of deception through misinformation, the power of suggestion, propaganda, popular persuasions, mass hypnosis, has blossomed on the fertile grounds of ignorance. Throughout the history of slavery in America, slaves were prohibited from reading and writing, making slaves vulnerable to indoctrination and false teachings. Moreover, this was not enough for them that they erred in the knowledge of God, but whereas they lived in the great war of ignorance, those so great plagues called they peace. Enchantments, magic spells, or the repetition of suggestion of misinformation, intended to deceive and enhanced by the use of temporary and permanent props. Disquieting of good men, forgetfulness of good turns, defiling of souls, changing of kind, disorder in marriages, adultery, and shameless unclean. Wizards and witches are nothing more than individuals who create tools, devices, and or inventions intended to deceive. Regard not the wicked inventions of the heathen, but the desire of those that keep thy testimonies and afflictions. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Your sorceress is to be defined and noted as a learned practitioner who uses those devices only to contribute to the established deception. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. But now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Last but not least, the acolytes. What would magic be without those casual performers of whom the seed of deceit has taken root? Albeit for both causes shall they be justly punished, both because they thought not well of God, given heed unto idols, and also unjustly swore and deceit, despising holiness. Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not.